Hello, um, don't so a little, another little video on uh, dimension strategies. And, uh, you know, if you want to change this to automatically come in, uh, with this dimension coming to the web, the face of the web of the beam. So, in case the guy in the shop would prefer, not prefer, but maybe it's just easier for them to use this dimension. So if you want to give them either this dimension or both dimensions, so let's have a look at it. So uh, basically the dimension is in the X direction and it's from the center point of the beam to the hole. So let's go to output. Let's go to drawing style. So we're in our beam, the sections and the view dimension is this. So there's one, two, and three X direction ones. Uh, this is an attached plate, but it's not it because there's no hole reference, or it's probably not it. Uh, this is an attached beam, so it's not it. The last one is an attached part with a hole. So that's what I've got. So what we're going to do is this should be the one. So let's double click here. Dimension label centered and let's check it to see. So, uh, so you can see 99 has come in, so they are both that dimension step. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to change that one to something else. So, let's delete that reference. No label. Let's go in here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. So I've already created it. So just click on this button here and I'll rename this to ADM. ADM. All right, do OK. I'm going to do cancel because I already have it. So let's go into it. So this is it here. So now what we want to do is we want to change this one. So let's double click on it. This is the dimension request. So let's create a new one before we change it. So let's create a new one and we want it to be face. So let's change this to face. Reference face. And let's put in space in there. Or no, there was no space before. So okay. Reference face. Uh, I forgot to delete the copy at the start, so let's go back in there because otherwise it gets in a mess. So you want to be able to find this again, so it should be next to the other one. All right, so now we have to edit this one in here. So let's apply our changes. So we want to come in here, and our reference is not going to be the center point, our reference is going to be an attached part. So, reference, attach part, flange, extreme left, no, no, it's not going to be extreme left or extreme right, because that's going to be the, the flanges. So, if we do main part, extreme, no. So, let's have a scroll through and see what we've got. Attach plate, so here's the touch part. As you can see, there's a lot of choices. So, touch beam. So, what well, we're going to go back down and go to main, main part. And we have attached part right and attaching parts of the object. So let's double click on that. And you can see that these are references. It'll do, it'll, it'll do whatever's on the plate, the holes on the plate. So this should be the one we want. So let's put in a label on this one to see if we can recognize it. Make sure it works. 
So we're going to update this. So this one should disappear and 98 should come in. Right, so 98 has come in and it's given you all those references that it showed you both outside. So that's good. So that's what I'm looking for for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and delete this number out of here. So we're correct. Apply. Use. Sorry, I didn't want to use it there, but this will get rid of that number. And now I want to add back in the other dimension. So if we can see here, we're, we're exactly where we want to be for what I'm trying to do. So let's go back in here. This is the one I've already edited. So let's click on this one. Let's create a new one. Oh, let's cancel. I deleted that by accident. So cancel out of that. Go back in. All right, so now we're back in it here. Click on this one, and we want to create a new one. Now, the one we want to create is not the previous one, which was this one, because I just changed the reference center to reference face. Now, this one I should probably name ADM at the end as well, so it's clearer in my mind that I've created it. But it doesn't really matter. Apply, use, and this should add a dimension above this that was in it previously, yeah, so to the center. So now these will automatically come in the next time I create a drawing. If this is what I want, if I don't want it, then I can go back and delete this one. Uh, so it just kind of shows you how to control it a little bit for your sections, which hopefully will be helpful for somebody. Um, if there's any suggestions, if anyone needs anything that I might be able to help with, if you could subscribe, let me know. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you.